Welcome to Discourse, I am Susil Pandey. Nepal is a country rich with natural resources. However, the country is grinding on acute poverty due to various reasons. We are unable to use our natural resources as we should. As a result, people are suffering in the day-to-day -day lives. Now, Nepali people have been facing difficulties due to Indian blockade. So, it is high time to think of being self-dependent. Foreign investment is a must to develop the country. For it, we need investors from around the globe. Today, I am going to talk on how Nepal can increase foreign investment to boost up our economy. My guest today is a business personality from Singapore, Miss Angela Cheng. She has been a good friend of Nepal from the last 30 years and has been investing in Nepal in various sectors. Miss Angela Cheng, welcome to Discourse. Thank you very much. Okay, you are visiting Nepal now in the business purpose, but I'm very sorry that you, are, you may be facing inconvenience due to the Indian blockade to Nepal for the long more than two months. What do you think and how do you perceive Nepali, Nepali's present situation of Nepal? I think that uh, Nepal, the Nepalese are very resilient people. They are very yeah. adaptable in spite of this um, blockage. You know, there are very few uh, gasolines around, petrol, uh, you have no gas to cook. But you are yeah. very creative. I was in uh, Soti Hotel yesterday for buffet. Mm. My goodness, the amount of spread in spite of your shortage of gas, you are able to uh, have a feast. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that you know you will survive. You are mm -hmm. resilient. You are very resilient people, and you will survive. Mm -hmm. it's not a problem for you. Yeah. Now you are visiting Nepal in business purpose. Yeah. You have already invested in Nepal. Yes. What do you think? How can Nepal increase foreign investment? In the first place, Nepal has to um, improve on your company registration process. Currently, is a little slow, and even the Department of Industry, it, the process is also a little slow. What is even worse is opening a bank account. You know, you take yeah. seven working days, you know, to open a bank account. You know, <laughs> which you know inconvenience me a lot. Yeah. You know? So if your process can be a bit uh, faster, mm -hmm. then it will really uh, make foreigners like me think that. Uh, Nepal really value foreigners like myself mm. and Nepalese like your Minister of Trade and Industry yeah. can go overseas and hold you know uh, trade talks mm -hmm. to even countries like Southeast Asia your mm -hmm. neighbors in Asia to promote uh, the your industries whatever industry that's that are welcome in Nepal you see because if you do not go outside Nepal mm -hmm. and talk to investors we will know what are the industries that are welcome in Nepal. Mm -hmm. It means you are facing hurdles and difficulties in every steps as a foreign investor. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have told that the registration process, yeah, the yes. process done by the ministries and the, the process of opening a bank account. Yes. They are against the investor. They are not investor friendly, you can say. Yeah? Yeah, truly, yes. The Nepal should pay attention to improve such kind of process procedures. Yes, correct, correct. So that you know, we like foreigners like me will feel very welcome. Yeah. In that oh, in, indeed, you know, you have open doors policy, and you know, we, we are very welcome here. But right now, my feeling is that it's closed door. You're not very welcome because of your mm. facilities, your process. You know, we foreigners like myself feel that we are not very welcome here to invest. Oh. It means you don't feel that Nepal is not welcoming foreign investors as it should do, yeah? Yes, that's right, that's right. If you are sincere, so to speak. And what about Singapore? Singapore has developed drastically, okay? Our political leaders have also brought some reference of Singapore. We should develop Nepal like Singapore, like Switzerland. And they also take out examples. And what do you think? What should Nepal learn from Singapore? Well, uh, Nepal should learn from Switzerland more than Singapore because uh, Switzerland is landlocked. Singapore is not landlocked. Mm -hmm. We are surrounded by beautiful, you know, sea. We have a yeah. uh, seaport, you see. Mm -hmm. 
Well, uh, we should learn, Singaporeans should learn from Nepalese uh, the, the resilience you have in, in you because yeah. we are very complacent, you see. And uh, we take a lot of things for granted, mm -hmm. you see. Well, um, your, I mean, politician can visit our country and, you know, we can have exchange program and, you know, visit our uh, facilities in the government administration, mm -hmm. our banking, you know, I mean, um, how Singapore manage our mm. economic, you know, I, I, I think it's visitation, first hand uh, viewing is, is more important, mm. you know, than just serving the internet and just know our country through the internet. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately, I have to say that Singapore does not pay much attention to Nepal as it should because Singapore does not have an embassy to Nepal too. Yeah, what that's right. Think? That's right. And that, that's not for me to say, you know, this for my government. You yeah. know. Yes. Do you want to suggest to government too? Yes, we have we have an ambassador that is also Singapore's ambassador to India and mm -hmm. Nepal. So, but he's stationed in Delhi. Yeah. Yes. It means Singapore is not paying much attention to Nepal. What I mean is if there is Singapore embassy to Nepal, yes. people like you mm -hmm. want to invest in Nepal will also benefit. Uh, yeah. Yes, truly, truly. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you have a good point. That's, that's right. So in order to do that, to justify an embassy in Nepal, yeah. there must be um, increase in trade, yeah. you know, and people to people, people relations. See, that, that, that is important. Then why don't you people like business investors like you exert pressure to your government to to set up an embassy, Singaporean embassy to Nepal? Yeah, I mean, if there are enough trades in this country uh, by Singaporeans, of course, you know, if anything that is justifiable, mm -hmm. you see. But currently, it's not justified, you know, because there are very few Singaporeans in, in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't justify an embassy, you know, uh, with the staff, okay. brand, Mm -hmm. See, currently, it's not justifiable. Mm -hmm. You have already invested in Nepal. Yes. Yeah? And now you are trying to invest in new sectors like... Oh, noodle, you are yeah, a noodle uh, factory. And, and hotel sector? Yes. Uh, uh, motel, this will be good. Yeah. You know, and well, areas that uh, can generate income. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are the probable areas that foreign investor can take off? The areas that foreign investors can take off, actually we can uh, combine, I mean like our uh, travel agency in Singapore yeah. and the travel agencies in Nepal, they can work hand in hand to promote, you know, your beautiful mountain, lakes mm -hmm. and, you know, waterfall, you know, you can create yeah. uh, awareness to Singaporeans. You know, the beauty in tourism the, sector. Yes, the yeah. tourism sector, the natural beauties that you have, mm -hmm. you see. And also uh, promote trade like uh, Nepalese produce. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your your manufacturers can set up trade fairs in Singapore mm -hmm. you know, to showcase your products. I think these are very important. Let me know what Shing people of Singapore think about Nepal. Oh, when we think of Nepal, we think of uh, the highest mountain in the world, the, yeah. the home Mount of Mount Everest. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, that's what, you know, uh, come to our mind. The birthland you know. of Gautam Buddha also? Uh, Buddha, that, uh, for Buddhists, yes, yeah. you know, for Buddhists, mm -hmm. yeah. And also, you know, strong young men, uh, the Gukas, yeah. you know, that, that uh, you know, uh, there's, because the Gukas are guarding some of uh, Singapore's vital installations. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, uh, it also when we talk of Nepal, it also comes to our mind. Gorkha, yeah? Yes. The Gorkha, yes. the bread people from Nepal. Right, yeah? yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And what are all other water resources or other resources of Nepal? What do you think? Forest resources in that sector can also Nepal generate forest uh, foreign investment? Oh yes, yes. You can develop ecotourism. Ecotourism. What does it mean? It, that means that uh, people, tourists, can visit uh, the forest. Yeah. They can study how to preserve the forest instead of cutting uh, the trees and make them into firewood. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you should preserve the forest, and uh, how to develop um, 
eco-friendly um, chalets, yeah. motels mm -hmm. using natural environment of mm -hmm. wood, you know, trees. Yeah. How can foreign investors like you help in that sector, as you have said, suggested? Yeah. Well, we can only link because that, that is not my expertise, you know, mm -hmm. it's not my forte. <laughs> I, I mean, I can mm -hmm. only link, you know, the people that are interested to develop ecotourism, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, with Nepalese. So that's all that uh, and I can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we can cooperate yes. between yes. Nepal and Singapore yes, to right. develop ecotourism. Yes, yes, yeah? right. Then what about people-to-people -people relationship between Nepal and Singapore? Uh, how can we enhance the, our relationship between people, people-to-people -people relationship between uh, two countries? Well, I can see that uh, the best way is for your doctors and nurses uh, to come to our uh, Singapore hospitals to be attached, to learn uh, from our uh, medical mm -hmm. doctors and nurses, and then come back here to increase you know, awareness mm -hmm. you know, in, in uh, the new technology as well as improve your healthcare. But of course, I, I feel that when doctors and nurses are attached overseas, they should yeah. come back and not be attached to uh, the capital, but uh, out into the village, the rural areas, mm -hmm. so that your health care can be improved. Mm -hmm. You know, once if, if they are attached overseas and then they come back here, you know, just to serve for their own benefits, I think that defeat the purpose. Yeah. See? And then your teachers can also be trained mm -hmm. in our uh, National Institute of Education. Mm -hmm. You know, and when they come back, they can also go to the village schools to train. Rural and, areas. Uh, yes, that's yeah. right and to train the teachers in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. and that would be good. That would, you know, improve the standard of education. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have such kind of ideas that Nepal and Singapore can develop or share mutual experiences to develop in both countries? Yes, if, um, if your government requests our government on diplomatic basis, yeah, I'm sure our government, you know, will be more than happy yeah. to assist in any way. In which sectors especially? Well, especially uh, we can um, advise you on water resources because that's, like Singapore, we don't have a lot of water because we are surrounded by sea, sea water. You can drink sea water, mm -hmm. you know. So we water order everywhere, but yeah. not a single drop to drink. Yeah? Yes, 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 yes. So you you have natural water resources. Yeah, you see. Then, then why don't you take Nepali water to Singapore? Yeah, well, we can bottle Everest water. Just like the French yeah. can uh, bottle the, uh, from the French Alps, you can also bottle mm -hmm. uh, Everest water. Mm -hmm. See, I, I think that would be a second. Presumably from where are you buying water? Well, water we are buying from our neighbor, Malaysia. Malaysia. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, when it rains, we also have our own reservoirs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nepal can also sell in a very lowest prices order to Singapore. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But bec being landlocked, it also will be costly than our neighbor because uh, being landlocked meaning you got to fly the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's not by rail, you know. But you can develop your water resources uh, through hydroelectricity. Mm -hmm. And then from hydro, you can build railway, you can build industries. Yeah. You know, a lot of things. And you can also sell your hydroelectricity to your neighbors. Mm -hmm. You can earn foreign currency. That would be better. Mm -hmm. you see? Because Singapore is 3,600 kilometers away from you. Whereas your neighbors, uh, India and China, mm -hmm. they are so near, they are stone throw away from you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, you should develop more trade with them. Uh -huh. You know that we have Nepal has old resources, natural resources so much. But what do you think? Why Nepal can't develop as it should? Well, firstly, you lack capital. You lack the technology. You know, you, technology requires capital. Mm -hmm. You see, to train manpower, the knowledge and skills that you need. All mm -hmm. these, you need uh, capital. So I think that in order for Nepal to raise the required capital mm -hmm. to develop your resources, you know, the best way perhaps is to lease out your resources, you know, uh, ask your neighbors, uh, you know, Nepal is very fortunate. 
mm-hmm. to to be blessed with two rich neighbors, yeah. India and China. So you can ask your rich neighbors mm-hmm. to to help you develop your resources. You know that, for example, China is now managing one uh, hospital, BP Corella Cancer Hospital in Chitwan. Chitwan. So it, then you may want to rent out your uh, lease out long term, hundred yeah. years. Uh, your government land and even Anapuna range, yeah. you know, for them to develop tourism mm-hmm. and and be, well, it should be long term so yeah. that they will see. Oh, the feasibility of long term mm-hmm. means that you know they can get back their returns. Yeah. Because if it's too short, who wants to invest? So lease out, lease out places like Chituan and Pokra yeah. to China. And then uh, get them to develop your infrastructure, yeah. and get then when you take back hundred years later, you know, wow, you you are, you have this a generation will not benefit from no, that. No, the this next genera- generation no, will. this generation will benefit because they will provide employment. Mm-hmm. The industry, if they develop industries in mm-hmm. Chituan, yeah, there will be employment for mm-hmm. Nepalese. If they yeah. develop tourism in Pokhara. Mm-hmm. Y- y- you can't Nepalese Nepal do that itself. Yeah, but you don't have capital. How are you going to do it? You, you, if you lease them, you, you know, uh, to them, and they we can invite. We can invite, bring foreign capital, foreign yes. investor like you. Yes, I know. But then, uh, not many people like me who have uh, confident in Napa. Mm-hmm. You know, I first stepped into Napa thirty-four years ago. Yeah. You know, so now without uh, investors' confidence into your country. You know, if you invest, uh, if you ask your rich neighbors to invest, mm-hmm. then a lot of investors will follow suit. But now you are being a witness of Indian blockade in Nepal. Okay, well, you, as you have told me, you have said that we have Nepal has two big countries, mm-hmm. in India and yes. China, in yes. South India and North China. Yeah. But now you are being a direct witness of Indian blockade to Nepal, and you are facing some inconvenience. In that situation, how can Nepal deal with both the countries and development itself? Yeah, I I cannot say that uh, it is Indian uh, blockage because India has denied to the world that it, they they did not block Nepal. You know, <laughs> so so whether you only in words, but what is happening there is the reality. In our border points with India. Yeah. So I I cannot comment too much that it is Indian blo- blockage. I'm asking because uh, yes, it's not yes. a political perspective, yeah, but yes. economic perspective. Yeah. Uh, yes. As an investor, you. Yes. For for investor, yes, yes. I I face a little inconvenience traveling. Mm. You know. Uh, oh, now the taxi fares are expensive. I'm yeah. asking these questions yes. only because you are also you have been a good friend of Nepal yes. for more than 30 years. Yes, that's and right. You have a direct link with our prime minister, current prime minister, president, and you have friendship with our political leaders also. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I'm asking these questions because you are a long good friend of Nepal. Thank you. Do you consider me a good friend of Nepal? <laughs> Thank mm. you very much. Yes, yes, right. Yes, I fell in love this country more than thirty years ago when I was a teenager. I yeah. came here, you know, and since then I have developed a lot of uh, friendship and friends. I make many many friends in Nepal. Mm. You see, so I I feel that uh, to resolve these inconveniences with no gas and no. Uh, Medicine, no basic essentials. You know, mm-hmm. the best way is perhaps ask uh, you know uh, some uh, ambassadors in this country mm-hmm. to mediate. Yeah. To mediate uh, between your government and India. Yeah. Then you know this. We have embassy both both the country. I have embassy, Indian embassy in Nepal too. Nepal embassy in Delhi too. No, you should get a third ca- third country like America. You know, mm-hmm. the Americans are very good uh, mediators. Yeah. So maybe invite the Other American United ambassador. States. Yes. United Nations also. Yes, United Here Nations. Are? Yes, and mm. perhaps there is a Qatar peace making yeah. uh, uh, something uh, uh, to that effect, right? He mm-hmm. he has uh, asked them. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, this. I have come to know that you are going to visit our prime minister and the president on Friday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There are tentative uh, dates that. Uh, mm. uh, yes, I. What do you want to suggest to our prime minister, president, or? Can you tell? Yeah, I would suggest as well. I have just told you that you know the best way to resolve this issue, you mm-hmm. know, is to invite uh, diplomats 
you know to to be peacemakers mm -hmm. to mediate uh, mm -hmm. this situation mm -hmm. because you cannot they cannot go directly to india and point an accusing finger when india said that no it's not they did not block anything it's not their blockage mm -hmm. you know so the only way is by diplomatic means mm -hmm. you know uh, invite the uh, embassies you know for talks you know invite them to be mediators i think that that, that is the best mm -hmm. way to resolve this issue mm -hmm. you are constantly visiting nepal and you have been a, a good friend more than 30 years and you have a very good friends that are in power in nepal then do you think they will appoint you as an honorary council of Nepal to Singapore and Singapore to Nepal also? Well, it's not for me uh, to suggest or not for me, you know, to say, you know, it would be an honor to serve uh, the people of Nepal. It would yeah. be my privilege to serve the people of Nepal. Mm -hmm. But maybe you could suggest to your government you know, uh, uh, to appoint me as the honorary consul for Napa in Singapore, <laughs> you know, <laughs> perhaps your good self, yeah. you know, could do it. Then if they appoint you as an honorary consul, it will benefit both the countries, yeah? Yes, yes, of course. You know, since I'm here, uh, you know, almost every year, and I will definitely, you know, try to improve uh, economic relations how can you improve economic relations or people to people relations if you will be appointed as an honorary council of singapore to nepal well i could um invite uh our you know investors like uh in singapore we have also a um, pharmaceutical company mm -hmm. you know to come here to study you know uh, the terrain and to see if they want to uh, invest here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because pharmaceutical are high value thing. You you are landlord, so you need to develop high value things so yeah. that when you export out, you have value like Switzerland. You know, high value mm -hmm. thing. We think of Rolex. You see, high value. Yeah. So uh, Napa should go towards that industry. Mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. So uh, that uh, economic aspect of it, you know, and then uh, people to people uh, relations, you know. Uh, perhaps give scholarship mm -hmm. to some of your students here you know, to study in Singapore and hopefully when they graduate they can come back to contribute to your economy. Mm -hmm. Do you want to suggest foreign investors who want to invest in Nepal? Yes, uh, of course, once your situation uh, improves and when your policies are welcoming, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, why Aren't not? Aren't our policies welcoming now? Yeah, now, as I have uh, earlier yeah, said, yeah. that you know, your, your company registration process and... Uh, Some formalities are very difficult, yeah? not friendly yes. to the investors. Correct, correct. Because uh, to come to your country to invest, we have to register a company. Mm -hmm. we, uh, the company has to be approved by mm -hmm. the uh, Department of Industry. You have to pay high to lawyers, lawyers, yeah? and you have to pay much to the formalities also. That yeah. may be also inconvenient for the foreign investors. Yeah. Yes, correct, correct. The long wait is also inconvenience. You see, so uh, th this all these need to be improved mm -hmm. before foreigners are willing to come in here. Yeah. Like for me, I have opened a, a bank account. I came Sunday right from the airport into yeah. bank into the bank you know to open the account mm -hmm. and i'm still not certain when mm -hmm. i leave you know uh, by this weekend yeah. whether i will get the uh, bank. accounts a uh, bank accounts approved or not i mean bank accounts approved is not a problem but the documents out mm -hmm. you know the the bank account number out because i need the bank account number to go back to singapore and tt the money into my account yeah. you know to pay you know, uh, my staff to pay rental, all this. Yeah, as you have told me that mm. you are investing in the noodles factory in Nepal and a motor, mm. eh? Yes. And in the how, process, in the process. In the, how much time will they take to, to be set up? The time of, uh, from registration to... Uh, production. Pr to production. Production, given this crisis, you know, we cannot uh, plan we you know on our schedule or or when to start mm -hmm. you know it, it would be uh, difficult we we'll have to wait next year mm -hmm. uh, you know to plan our schedule and from there work from there mm -hmm. now miss Angela we are 
uh, at the end of the program. What do you want to suggest to Nepali people? Well, my suggestion to the Nepalese, uh, you know, be patient with your new government. Mm. Give them a chance um, to build Nepal. Yeah. Because Rome was never built in a day. So, yeah. you know. They are giving chance. They are not complaining even. They are facing much hardships yes. and inconvenience because of Indian blockade. Yes, correct. They correct. are giving chances, multiple yes. chances to the government. Yes, now, yeah. yes, yes, which is good. So yeah. you are on the right track, mm. you know. So, you know, be, be more patient with them, you mm. know. Be positive, be patient, yes. okay? Let yes. the government do their, their, yes. their job, yeah? Yes, that's right, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. You know, don't, don't let uh, other uh, people uh, I mean, upset you, you know, uh, and force you to change what you believe in your constitution. Yeah. So because it is time that you grow up, mm -hmm. you see, uh, I mean, so I respect what the Nepalese believe in, in yeah. your new constitution. Mm -hmm. And you have stood by and you are not worried, you know, uh, whatever um, is happening in spite of so many inconveniences, mm -hmm. you stood by what you believe in. And for that, I salute the Nepalese. Mm -hmm. Nepali also learned from the Singaporean, yeah, also because in the history, Singapore are also faced such kind of problem, yeah? Uh, yes, uh, yes, that, that was some 50 years ago. Uh, we did, uh, when Singapore faced patch. blockage from Malaysia also sometimes? Uh, no, 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 only some, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, threats to uh, on the water, oh, this yeah. one, but uh, you know, the, you know, the, we, we became, slowly we became friends. When Singapore can survive, can develop, even if it does not have water resources. Yes. Why not Nepal? Eh? If we have ideas, we have friends like you, then Nepal can prosper very easily in a short time. Eh? Yes, yeah, because. It, um, uh, first of all, Nepal has to gain uh, knowledge and skills. You mm -hmm. see, we were under the British, so a lot of the people they were educated. Mm -hmm. You see, and therefore they have the uh, our forefathers. They have the skills, mm -hmm. the knowledge, you know, to uh, press on. Mm -hmm. You see, so uh, Nepal could also uh, do it. You know, mm -hmm. as what I said, the, the, the best way for you now is um, be friendly mm -hmm. with uh, your rich neighbors yeah. so that you can uh, develop this country. Okay, thank you. Thank you yes, very much. Yes, thank, you thank you for your invite. Thank you.